Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Wow, look at that squirrel running so fast. I wonder what she's chasing. Well, let me tell you, squirrels are very busy animals, especially during the fall. They are constantly running around yards and forests. Can you guess what they're searching for? <laughs> yep, they're looking for food. They can't go to the grocery store like us, so they are on the hunt to collect as many acorns and other nuts as possible before the winter comes. Squirrels bury a lot of nuts so that they have enough food during the winter when food is hard to find. Unfortunately for squirrels, they don't have the best memory. <laughs> so they often forget where they hid the nuts. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever hidden something so well and then forgotten where you put it? It's happened to me, that's for sure. And that's what happens to squirrels all the time. But hey, what do you think happens to those acorns they buried? Well, some of those seeds grow into new trees. The squirrels are changing their environment by collecting acorns, digging holes, and causing new trees to grow from forgotten acorns. All animals change the land or water that they live on in some form, and so do plants. Those could be such mighty changes. Let's take a look at how and why living things change the environment. A tall tree with a lot of leaves is doing a lot for its environment. It makes shade and works hard to clean or filter the air around it. Although you can't see that happening, it's an important way that trees change the world around them. Have you ever been walking on a path and had to watch your step very carefully because there are lots of bumps that you could trip over? The older a tree is, the more roots it has. These roots spread through the earth, making big changes to the soil. Think about how different this trail would look if the roots weren't there. Tree roots can cause trouble in other areas as well. The roots of trees can be so strong that they can cause damage to sidewalks and even buildings. These mighty trees certainly are changing the environment around them. The beaver is also a fantastic animal that changes its environment in big ways. A beaver needs deep water to build its home, which is called a lodge. Beavers will use their extra long teeth to cut down trees around a stream. Just imagine how strong their teeth are. <laughs> they can cut trees with them. Amazing! After they do that, they pile the logs up across the stream to create something called a dam. The dam will block the water from flowing and create a pond where the beaver can build their lodge. The deep water of the pond protects the beaver and its family from predators. Think about how much that new pond has changed the environment. It will be home to tons of plants and animals. Other animals make changes to their surroundings when they eat plants and other animals. Here are a few good examples. Birds eat berries off of bushes, and animals like koalas eat leaves off eucalyptus trees. Look at that koala, aww, munching on that leaf. So cute. I bet its breath is very fresh from all that eucalyptus. <laughs> it's a common ingredient in bubblegum. Did you know that? And while birds and koalas are great, the bees are probably the most awesome environment changer ever. They move from flower to flower, drinking nectar. Bees then pick up pollen from the flowers and spread them around to grow new flowers. All of these little things add up to lots of changes in the environment. We have also made big changes to the environment. Think about the area where you live. All those houses, buildings, and roads. They weren't always there. At one point, there were grasslands and forests, but we had to build houses and buildings to live and roads to help us travel faster from one place to the other. We use the land in other ways as well. 
We have learned how to change the land to plant and farm in order to grow food. Good thing, too, because we love to eat. <laughs> Our mighty world is always changing. Plants and trees change the environment in so many ways. Sometimes the ways are even invisible. They filter our air without us even being able to see it. Take a nice deep breath. <sighs> that clean air is thanks to the changes that our friends the trees make. Animals like beavers make big changes to their environment by cutting down trees and building dams. Hungry koalas, squirrels, and bees make changes when they gather food. Your neighborhood probably looked way different before we learned how to build homes and buildings. We have changed our environment in good ways and bad ways. We have made some spectacular changes to our world in both ancient and modern times. Think about the pyramids of Egypt or the Eiffel Tower or the Empire State Building. Changes happen all around us, all the time. Plants, animals, and us, humans, change our environment to suit our needs. Okay, now, go have fun exploring the changes in the world around you.